hello welcome back to my channel and this is tech bites with fear bliss in this video i want to show you how you can use um, a data extraction tool for your work and this video is purposely for researchers and students who are really struggling to get their own data or who are really struggling to plot um, data from their graph let's say you take a paper as a researcher you take a paper maybe an academic paper from a journal and you see um you see a graph you want to implement or you want to adopt but you find it very difficult to conduct your experiment this video is the right video for you and you are at the right place similarly if you're also a student and you find it very difficult to conduct your data analysis this video it will also serve you a good purpose but i would advise that you use this video cautiously because you should try and learn the right way okay try to do your experiments try to learn how to do your data analysis but if all options fail then you turn to this method so what we do is the tool you are going to use is called plot digitizer okay the tool you are going to use is called plot digitizer which i'm going to open the app so you go to your google browser or maybe your your edge and type plotdigitizer.com slash app and you click on enter so it's going to open the app for you so whilst you're waiting before you start you need to any graph that you want any paper that you want maybe you have this um paper this is my own paper and i'm not going to use this for example for an example i have i have a lot of graphs in this paper it's not been published yet yet so i, can, I can't really share with people i can take a picture of this um this graph okay but i'm not going to use this because it's my own work is confidential i've not really finished it so i took a picture of a graph okay i saw on i think i think this paper i got it somewhere so i took a graph i took a picture of it so you are going to import this this picture into the into the app online so we go to the app and i'll show you this is the working area so this is the open file where you can load your file from your desktop or wherever whatever location you have on your computer this is um, your reset all you can reset everything back to the default settings delete data points when you have data points you're not satisfied with you can delete all the data points and start afresh here's a screen mode let's say you want to have a broader view of your working area and this is the show or hide and i think the rest are pro versions so i'm going to open my file and this is it i'm going to open it yeah so this is how we open up our file but i want to also show you option two on how you can also load your file like import your file so let me just restart everything again and there you see this drop down click to upload or drag and drop your image from here okay so you can drag and drop your image maybe drag and drop or you can upload okay so on the right side we have the x y the csv this is i think clipboard the json xls the pi list i'll talk about this later and on the right side we have the x axis and the y axis this is attributed to the kind of dates the kind of um graph you want to draw so if you want to draw a 2d graph then it gives you two options the x axis and then the y axis so under the x axis we have the linear graph the date and time the logarithm approach and the reciprocal and it's similar to that of the y axis similarly when you go to vertical bar it's going to give you the option to only select the y data point that is y1 and y2 y data points only um likewise when you go to the horizontal bar that is going to help assist you to select only x data points and the rest is i think donuts that is the pi the polar and tenary so i'm going to use this to select our data points and we can see sorry let's go to our 2dxy so from x when we have this blue data points and y 
y data point so you can see our data points in x is blue in color and that of y is red so i'm going to push this point one to this section okay that's on the x axis then i put point x2 that is the beginning and then the end so x1 is the beginning x2 is the end okay so i give it zero and then maybe x2 maybe i maybe let me give it maybe 50 then y1 y1 i'll put it on i'll show you a trick here okay i'll show you a trick here i'll put it on the zero and y2 i'll put it on the 900 and then i'll list it over here zero and 900 all right yeah and this area on the top right hand side is the zooming area okay so when you hover your mouse cursor it's going to show you it's going to show you how, where you have to import put your extract your point so let's say i take bar one which is 848 and if you check on the zooming area you can see it's not placed it prop placed properly so i'll make sure it's placed on top of the bar and then i select now you know we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we have 12 bars representing 12 data points so if you get 13 data points then you are wrong if you get 11 data points you are missing one value so you need to be very careful when doing this okay so you push it but when you have a data point which is duplicating that is they have the same value they can delete one so we go to the next one and yeah i think this is it yeah this is exactly at the point where i want it to be so this is the data point two and you can see it on your left side your x and y then point three yeah point three i think this one is um, repeated so i'll just delete it okay point three let me see then okay you can move it so this is point four then point five Then point six, point seven, eight, nine, then ten. As I said earlier, we are supposed to get twelve, twelve data points, and this is eleven, and this is twelve. So we can 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, bravo. Now, we have to export our data points. We can export it uh, via the CSV file or JSON or XLS or PyList. So I'll take the CSV file. And I think I was experimenting with this, with this earlier. So I'm going to choose this and maybe I'll override the existing file and then i do that so i open it and i open it i see all my data points so i'm going to hover the mouse over over my data points and then click on chat sorry charts and click on maybe scatter clustered so when we click on click on clustered or maybe clustered in this maybe the horizontal side you can get something like this so i'll click on clustered column a clustered column is like this and it's similar to what we we extracted from you can see it's very it's the same as what we extracted from let me put this one aside and compare we can see it's the same as what we extracted from so we can make some changes to our our data uh, our graph i don't want our graph to look the same as uh, exactly the same as what we extracted from so what we are going to do is um we are going to make some changes so here you can relabel your x-axis as he's done over here you can relabel but i don't i don't that's not my focus of this this um this video so here i'm going to do a quick layout and check which options that i 
will suit my graph all right so we have different options and you can choose whatever option you like all right similarly you can also check from here and change change the kind of the, 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 the way your graph looks okay and here I want to change the colors of my graph I don't want them to have the same color so I'll click on the bar and click on color when I click on color maybe I can choose this color and it's going to give me the same color or something all right but I want the color to be different so what I would do is um, I go to axis sorry I'm not supposed to click on axis I go and go to format sorry format and I go to shift fill so shift fill you can get something like this but let me go to chart design okay yeah so from here I can change the color of my bars okay so I can use the pattern fill and pattern fill can select any different color maybe any crazy color i'm a very colorful person and i love to experiment with colors so i'll say okay and then um click on maybe red and um yeah this is not bad or oh, it's too bright so this is not bad so red and maybe uh, yellow yeah something like this is not bad at all i'll go so with something like this if not i can also try the picture sorry gradient fill gradient fill yeah yeah gradient fill and the gradient fill i can maybe select sorry gradient fill maybe solid fill this is my gradient fill and i can add one more or delete one more so i'll choose maybe something like and one more thing don't restrict yourself to all these colors over here you can go to more colors and choose a color of your own like experiment with yours you can generate your color all right so maybe i ch i choose something deeper like deeper blue and deeper purple and i guess something like this and i can choose to move this around and also change the color of my bars if not i use this option vary colors by point it's going to vary the color by point for me so and for the border you can change the border using um the compound type maybe you can use red as your compound border then you can increase that is the border around the bars so let's say I increase it and you can see it's so obvious, the red is so obvious. All right, similarly, um, you can decrease it, decrease it like that, or you can do you can just increase this so you can experiment it with whatever you want. All right, the transparency, okay, that is it. And okay, so let me go back to default settings, or let me just change the bars and then. Uh, maybe yeah, the bars are going to be okay no it's not it's not okay for me okay so i can change it using something like this and then that is it yeah so i can experiment with my chat area okay i can experiment with my chat area and one more thing is you can also include um i think we have we already have it like grid lines all right so <laughs> you can do that if you want to move your chart to a different section you can also do that and you can also do the, the, do this at the time you can label it differently okay you can maybe give it a different name all right add major grid lines um then you can see add minor grid lines yeah something like this sometimes i prefer my graph to be like this sometimes i want it like only one grid line so i'll go with ctrl z and i'll go with this now i want to change the style that is the shape of my bars 
so what I do is I can go to change type and then on the column section I can choose something like this okay something like this or something like this whatever that I want I can choose it and then um, make my bars look a bit different so let me choose this one and click OK mm, not what I, I, I actually want exactly but um, let me try another one again so you go to column and maybe let's see this let's see that let's see this I don't want it tilted you know I don't want it so tilted and these ones they're all tilted not to my satisfaction anyway so maybe for the I think that it depends it, I think it's about the rotation it's about the rotation so I'm going to show you another option where you can change your graph so here let's say change series type because I don't like the look of this at all I don't like the look of this okay so what I do is um, we are going to go to our office we are going to download a free office powerpoint office sorry powerpoint and then we're going to just select a design and then we are going to export our excel to that design so we click on powerpoint and we click on see more themes so when you see more themes you have lots of th uh, themes you can choose from beautiful ones um if you're not satisfied you can click explore all templates and themes i have a video on this so if you are interested you can i'll just pin that video in this um under this another comment section sorry uh, my comment section sorry and then um when you open it's going to open your browser and you find a variety of themes that you can choose from okay so you can say show all when you say show all it's going to show you a lot a lot a lot of it a lot of it a lot of it so if you want to maybe choose one um i downloaded one already which i like so i'll just go with that and i think i don't know where i put it maybe under my downloads it. i chose this type all right i chose this type so what i'm going to do is we before let me just show you this before you download your theme you can maybe click on maybe you see this theme as very colorful maybe you can click on it before you customize, if you, if you click on customize, it downloads for you. Let's say, um, before you download or click on customize, you can check the way the the color is going to give you. So if you're satisfied, then you can go ahead and download. If not, you can still search for other colors. All right. So let me go with the one I already chose, and I chose this color. And I'm going to move, maybe I'm going to duplicate one slide and delete. Delete this. Sorry, delete, sorry, delete. Delete. And I'm going to copy my graph from Excel and put it there. So I copy it and then put, I can put like a picture file, but it, I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't. What I want to do, if I do it, that was not going to work. So I'm going to put this this way. Use destination theme and embed workbook H or keep source formatting. So I want to use destination theme. And when I use destination theme, I can make it bigger. I think it's not clear enough, but anyways, we can work with this. You see, so we can get a file. Now we can see that some of the colors are repeated, which I don't want. So I'm going to change some of the colors, like this one. All right, this one. I'm going to change some of the colors anyway. So I will change this one to maybe a different color. 
I can go to the color fill and then choose color and then choose any of these colors that I want. But anyways, I want to ch choose them uh, maybe change individually. Okay, so I'm going to choose fill. Then I'm going to choose more fill colors. And I'm going to choose the brown one and click OK. And that is it. Voila. Similarly, I can also do that for if I have repeated colors which I don't want, like this color, the blue colors match, I can change this one. And then click on the right one. You can still go to more fill. Maybe you can now try. If the first one I try standard. This one I'm going to try custom. Okay, I'll click on something like this. Or yeah something like this and go with this and click on ok and it's going to change like that all right so you can change colors you can play with it around all right and this you can also yeah for so for this you can also change it and so you, this is very easy now what i want us to do is sorry Now what I want us to do is we are going to, I want us to change the shape of our bars. So I'm going to right click it and maybe I'm going to um, chat design and I'll try and check on this. If, if it's not what I want, I can still change everything. So change chat type, then I go to column. And I go to yeah but I don't want this kind of you know graphs anyway so I don't know I just don't want it it's I just don't want like the way is it's tilted okay so what we're going to do is um I'm going to look for a shape that I will change my uh, I'll change one of my bars to okay and see if it's going to work or better still we'll go to our excel file and see if we can change the the style of the the, the shape of our one of our bars okay so I go to series option it's not many sensible option in a way and then I click on beveled mm and maybe something like this yeah so something like this is also all right okay um maybe let me go to control z control z control z and that is control z is undo okay so i can click on something like this and see how it's gonna look mm, no, what i expected anyway so maybe i can click on control y so control z control z control z sorry Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, okay, or Control Y, yeah, Control Y is okay. And maybe click on Bevel, so Bevel, and then maybe try. Because I want to change the style, the style of my graph. So let's say I choose. Um, no, you can play with this thing a lot. sorry you can still play with this so format and then you go to the shape fill which which, which I've already tackled that shape outline we've tackled that already and uh, let me see no rotation yeah Okay, now we go to the chart design. And check each video. Let me see this one. Each, sorry, each chart. If it's something that we want. And we can try something like this. If not, we can also try primary. Um, you know, when you hover the mouse on each option, it gives you what it wants to do, okay? Yeah, so let's say we click on undo, go to add element, and then maybe chat title, 
data bar, data labels, and data table, and error bars. But it's going to add standard errors to it. So if you want to start add standard errors to your work, especially for those who do statistics and data science, this is going to be helpful for you. And the grid lines, um, grid lines we checked over, we checked off, we checked it. More grid line options. The more grid line options is going to give us so many options for grid lines. Okay, now let's still check. This is like this is the trend line. This is the trend line, and this is also very helpful, right? Very very helpful. Okay. Now I want to change my bars. So maybe let's let me stick to chat chat type. Sorry, change chat type. Maybe I'll go to column again or line bar. Let me go to column again and let me stick to this. Yes. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. So I want a 3D clustered column and change it to this. And this is what I'm looking for. So you can actually play with your graph to determine what you want. So I'm going to delete this graph anyway. Sorry. We are going to delete this graph anyway. And then what we just had, we are going to... Um, bring it back all right so you can any option that you want it depends on you any option that you want but i wanted to have the same format as this so i'm going to use the format for this and this has the same color as this so i'm going to change choose this maybe change the color for this one which i'll give it pink yeah okay whatever color i give it and then this one i'm going to change it to pink yes as we did it before this is yellow so yellow i'm going to change it i'm going to change yellow yellow i'm going to change to a different color and i always told you do not restrict yourself you have more colors to explore from if you don't get from standard you can You can try you can try different colors that you want all right you don't have to restrict yourself mm -mm, this is too faint which i don't i don't like any faint color so more colors and transparency okay transparency sorry i i, I didn't really get it english word very well so we're going to choose the same this is red this is orange and yeah now this yellow we can also change this yellow now i'll go with um, more yeah, i'll go with the custom and i'm going to choose something around this something around this yeah, something around this and say okay so you can choose and change the colors to suit whatever you want this one I can also choose it and change it to change it to a bit gradient. Okay, we should all have a uniform color. So this is okay. So with this, you can actually export your graph to whatever you want so let me just um copy and paste now copy and paste or save it as a um a web, um sorry a picture file and then yeah so this is this oh my god the colors are the same which is not so you copy and then sorry you copy and paste so you right click and then you say keep source formatting keep source formatting when you keep source formatting 
you get something like this so this is what you can do and it, it this is a bit different from what we saw where we extracted from all right so this will be very ideal for your research work or for your your project work or anything um let me still change this color let me still change this color to um maybe more colors and maybe custom color i'm gonna try green so green might be okay i'm gonna try green oh, I don't know, so. yeah okay so if you want to also change the <laughs> the outline you can also increase the outline but you can also increase the outline of your to be thicker and for your outline walls maybe you can use red okay yeah so you can just maneuver your way and make your graph finer okay you can make your graph finer You can make your graph finer. Um, so let's see red. And for the outline, more lines, more lines, and yeah. So we can you can make your graph finer like we did before, and then maybe so let's say. Sorry, why? Yeah, so you can choose the red color and then make your graph finer. Very fine, okay? You can change the walls on the back wall. You can explore with whatever you have. Side wall, whatever. And then um, maybe you copy you export you save it as a p um, as an excel sorry as a um, as a png or as a jpg so this is use destination theme or if you don't want that you can also use um keep source formatting Okay, so something like this. All right, yeah. So this is basically it. So if you are happy watching this video, please subscribe to my videos. This will encourage me to make more videos and show you more techniques in overcoming your using IT to overcome your your hard life in school. Okay, so thanks for watching this video.